Hi, I'm Nurul Samatov from Uzbekistan and I want to bring water management system, new innovative technology, which makes the water as much as transparent in terms of allocation evenly and make it safer from the industrial pollution. Generation Connect Young Leadership Programme is, as the name probably suggests, about connections and leadership. Launched last year by the UN's International Telecommunication Union and by Huawei, 30 fellowships were awarded to young people, giving them the chance to turn their creative, digital, community-driven ideas into practical reality. And since they come from all four corners of the globe, that's pretty good news for the rest of us. Health, education, agriculture, governance, all of these are projects and solutions in the making. And frankly, the United Nations of the world could certainly do with a few of those. Well, we're here in Geneva this week for the inaugural boot camp of the programme. And we're going to be featuring six of those projects, showing off a range of the regional innovations on offer. And for the fifth guest in our series, we hopped on a train for the picturesque journey across to Zurich, taking in Huawei's joint innovation hub in the city. And then on to a chat with Nuruddin from Uzbekistan. My project is water management system in the irrigational canals, and uh, it consists of device and the dashboard. And uh, it has uh, several uh, indicators about the water and uh, the pollution sources. and. Uh, the government also uh, wants to uh, detect the source of the pollution and uh, it drives me to, uh, the, to create this uh, device and the dashboard to provide more transparent information about the uh, water resources in the irrigation canals and uh, to detect the, um, the source of the pollution. So it's both detecting the pollution and finding out where it came from, sort of tracing it back. Exactly, it yeah. So what, what inspired you to, to do that? So the, the Central Asia is one of the vulnerable uh, regions in the world in water resources, especially uh, irrigation water. And uh, each country uh, get benefit from the agriculture. And uh, especially in Uzbekistan, uh, almost 98% of the GDP comes from the agricultural sector. I grown up in the uh, countryside, and uh, I, I use I'm, our family used to have like the farming, and uh, we uh, had some problem with our water resources. So like the irrational distribution of the water resources can affect the farmers to uh, make the profit on the season. Yeah, it, it affects harvesting. If uh, the people install the devices. Uh, similar to my uh, innovative solution, mm. they may know the availability of the water in, the, in one year or like the next 10 years. So they can easily distribute and uh, the allocate it properly and uh, within the farm pods. So for you, it's a sort of personal issue. It's based on very much a personal family history. Yes, for sure. So it both tackles pollution and helps agricultural yes, output sure. as well in the future. Yeah. So what can the ITU, what can companies such as Huawei do to help you solve what may be the technological challenges of that? So my, my device essentially has uh, s several spare parts, including solar panels, and also it, it needs the connection to provide data uh, from device to dashboard. And uh, the most of the, the irrigation canals are located in the remote areas. So it, I need some uh, help like the ITU uh, to provide some uh, standards to uh, have to set up the device and uh, connect to the uh, internet and mm -hmm. like the to deliver the data from uh, device to dashboard and also the, the Huawei for uh, sensors, detectors, also like the uh, solar panels as a spare part. And so five years from now, 10 years from now, I don't know what your time frame is. What's the kind of dream outcome for you of this water management dashboard and device? So in general, uh, 
in our country, we have uh, around uh, 6,000 irrigational uh, hydrological stations. And this is only Uzbekistan. And uh, in five years, I, my, my plan is to cover the, all over the Central Asia with, the, with my innovative solutions to install it to the hydrological stations. And after that, I also want to focus on the Middle East countries. Mm. One of, and this is also uh, the second maybe vulnerable region, let's say, in the irrigational system. So it's to start in Uzbekistan, but absolutely to spread across yeah. the region and regions beyond that too. Yeah, starting locally and expand globally. This is my mission and the motivation.